Welcome back Guardians, my name is Easy Now and you guys are awesome, but what is awesome is the year one nightfall buff. Remember that? Remember that guys? Remember Radiant Light? So a guy made a post on Reddit today and his name was Sparky247 and he posted a link to a weekly update from Bungie from a while back before the Taken King was released speaking about nightfalls and other changes. But the actual topic of this video is what happened to adjusting sources of XP and reputation up to account for the absence of the Nightfall buff. So, on the weekly update, it states, uh, let me just quickly find it. Yes, so they've took away the buff, etc, etc. And they say, we've adjusted sources of XP and reputation up to account for the absence of the buff. And that's what they say in the actual update. Now, I believe that's kind of a lie. I really really do because regardless of the new ways to earn XP and reputation there is no way that I have seen a dramatic difference in what we get in reward for the things that we do now XP is one thing because I'm level 40 now I don't really particularly see the XP gain so I could be completely wrong on the sources of XP being increased but definitely in my opinion reputation is not one of those things that has been accounted for Back in the day in year one, you used to complete a nightfall, get 500 rep off the bat and then get your buff. And then you would run the weekly heroic and get 499 rep with the radiant light buff. You could then go to patrol with the radiant nightfall buff and pretty much get 37 rep for a VIP patrol mission. Something that I personally used to grind all the time. I used to run it for a couple of hours a day and get a bunch of reputation. Now, with in year one, you could quite easily get a reputation faction level up in probably two days if you weren't fully on top of it, grinding it out like I used to be. And I could see why they nerfed reputation because two days getting a package every two days is a little bit over the top. But if they are going to limit you to only being able to change faction once a week, the reputation shouldn't be as low as it is. I mean, now when you run a Nightfall, you get 22 Vanguard rep and 10 faction rep. That is abysmal. If you're going out there representing factions and taking down these big bosses in one of the most important things during the week, the Nightfall, you should definitely be getting more rep than you are. Even if it's just a 100 plus vanguard rep and 50 faction rep that to me is on the lower scale of what it should be i would definitely like to see 150 rep for vanguard and 100 rep for your faction for doing a goddamn nightfall you take a big chunk out of your week to do these things and you get little to no reward because the actual drops aren't that great even with the buff they're not that great so why not let us get some faction rep and some reputation? Most people loved to get so much rep because they were like pretty much guaranteed a package within a week and then they get a new weapon or a new piece of armor. And the thing for me now is that faction stuff that you do get from packages isn't really worth it anymore. So I don't see why they wouldn't just let us gain those packages anyway. At the very least, at least we can get free legendary marks from them. And then you could do something like the weekly heroics. The first three where you get rewards for, the reputation could be buffed up where you get, I don't know, 50 faction rep and, and 100 or 75, let's say, vanguard rep. Because then there's a reason to do the weekly heroics and the nightfall. At the moment, I only do the nightfall, particularly just for a video to show you guys what rewards I got. I don't care about them. There's nothing for me to do for them. I, if, I, if I wasn't making the videos, I wouldn't do the Nightfalls. I haven't touched the Weekly Heroics in about two weeks because it's pointless. The only thing I get is um, a couple of Legendary Engrams, but I could get those from other sources or just not get them because it's not that big of a deal to have Legendary Engrams anymore either. So I don't know. I would definitely like to see an increase to reputation gains across the board. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Hit the like button if you wish to. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. yeah.